I'm Vanessa Joy and I'm talking to you today about the newly released Spider Checker photo from Datacolor. You may have seen one of these little doodads before and not know what it was for or maybe you knew a little bit, but I want to tell you why this is probably one of the smallest and most important things you can have as a photographer. Whether you are a wedding photographer or maybe you're shooting brands and fashion and lookbooks, the Datacolor Spider Checker photo is going to help you maintain perfect color and white balance throughout your entire shoot. We all know how tricky lighting situations can be and how lighting can change from scene to scene. This little gadget specifically made for photographers is gonna help balance all of that out so you can deliver perfect color and white balance quality to your clients. I have to admit, I'm really excited that I took this along on a shoot where the lighting was quite frankly, heinous. It was super dark, super cloudy. So whether I was outside and working with mixed lighting because the tungsten light from the string lights came into the picture or whether I was inside and I had a little bit of daylight mixed with the indoor lightings, honestly, it was crazy. First, it's super compact, lightweight, fits right in your back pocket. And when you open it up, you have the choice of the full color palette, or if you want to have a gray card and well, gray range, that's gonna help you with your white balance, you just flip it right over. Now it's important to be careful not to touch any of these because the oils on your fingers can mess it up. So keep it closed when you're not using it, throw it in your back pocket, pull it out and just have somebody hold it in each lighting scenario, hopefully filling the frame, but it doesn't totally matter if it does and you'll see what we do afterwards. It's a no brainer, it's only 99 bucks and it's going to help you a lot in editing, especially if you use different cameras or maybe you have other shooters on the same job like a wedding that use different cameras. It's gonna help you match color seamlessly. Keep it closed, you don't wanna leave it in the sun, obviously you don't want these colors to fade. You've likely heard data color. They've been around since the 1970s, making sure that they're giving us ways to have consistent color output and has provided countless time and cost-saving solutions to color-related challenges for more than 1 million customers. They're a company you can trust. These 62 colors have expanded skin tone ranges to be ideal for portraiture. You're gonna nail skin tones. It has a rigid case and it's lightweight. So if you drop it, no, I'm not gonna drop it, but if you drop it, you're gonna be able to pick it up right away and get going. It's a pretty streamlined workflow, but let me give you the overhaul of how to use this thing in case you haven't done it before. When you are in your day of event, photo shoot, studio, whatever it is, take a photo of the color. I, I tend to stick to the color. It needs to be completely flat opened very flat against the camera and not tilted in any way. So here's the entire shoot. We shot for about an hour and a half. This is my friend Naomi here in Texas. She's a photographer. I honestly overshot this because I get nervous shooting other photographers. So there's 718 images. I haven't called these yet, so you're seeing everything here. But as you can tell through every lighting situation, I took another photo of the spider checker photo. It's not a big deal, it takes two seconds, but it's going to save me so much time in my workflow on the back end. So let's just go ahead with the first lighting scenario. All you're gonna do in post-production is pop up the very first image, go into develop, and we want to crop it so that it is pretty much just the spider checker photo. The first thing you want to do is edit here in Lightroom or wherever you're editing and you have some things that you have to set before we bring it into Data Color's proprietary software. White balance the image, okay. Next up, we're going to adjust the whitest patch to be RGB 230 or 90%. That sounds complicated, but it's not. You're just adjusting your exposure. Then the darkest patch, you're going to want an RGB value of about 10 or 5%. Once you have this balance, you're gonna open it in Spider Checker's proprietary software. You're gonna right click on your image, go to edit in, and then edit in Spider Checker. Now, if you don't see this here, you just have to go into your Lightroom preferences, go to external editor, and add this as an external editor. I promise you, it's not too difficult. It's gonna go ahead and open it up in Spider Checker camera utility, and you want to match up these dots, so see, how we have all the different dots and we're gonna do our very, very best to get all of the colors in the exact center. 
that looks good. Now we're gonna hit save calibration. We're saving it to Lightroom and we'll just put scene one. Hit okay and we've saved this Lightroom. Now just relaunch Lightroom and you will find your preset under the user presets and you'll be able to apply it to that entire scene, ensuring absolutely perfect color across the board. If you're calibrating based on which shooter shot, what camera or a lens, then name your preset to remember it was the 85 millimeter lens with the Canon R5 in the indoor scene. Now that Lightroom is back open, here's my scene right here. I go into my presets. You can see where I just said scene one. So now I can go right to my first photo, hit scene one, tap on it, and I've got perfect, perfect color. Now I'm gonna highlight everything in that scene, which was the first 72 photos. I can go ahead and hit scene one or sync, calibrate all of that so I get true color across the board. Of course, from here, you're gonna go ahead and put your own spin on it, add your style, but this is giving you that base to start with so you can have perfect color every single time. Consistent color accuracy is crucial as a photographer, especially since we're creatives and sometimes we get a little moody and we have photos that just stretch the truth a little bit. You wanna get back to true color, use the spider checker photo, fits in your pocket, easy to use, will streamline your workflow and match that color consistency across locations, lenses, cameras, different sensors, you name it. Check out the links below to get the full information about the spider checker photo. And let me know what you think down in the comments. Is this going to streamline your workflow? Is color consistency something that you care about as a photographer or videographer? My name is Vanessa Joy. Hit like, subscribe, ring the bell, and I'll see you next time.